Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you? <laughs> I'm looking a little red. Oh, I just got out of the shower or bath or whatever. I have been MIA for a little while. I am so sorry. I have been door dashing all week and I am bagged. I am so tired and so sore. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> um, I just wanted to come on just to touch base and say hello. I'm still here. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm so tired. I don't even know what to talk about. I'm just, I'm so lost right now. Uh, I have to work today and then I get tomorrow off. I'm supposed to go see my sister tomorrow. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to because I'm just, I, I just can't, I need a day, you know. <clears throat> I'm going to be going to see her on Saturday. She's doing a little um, uh, garage sale-y thing. So I kind of wanted to be there for her uh to do that but uh i will have a couple of days off hopefully and maybe do a video where i'm not so uh <laughs> but anyways <clears throat> um yeah just a couple of things uh i finished this last night it's made out of latte cake um just something i threw together just so i could get my mind off things and relax uh, but it's, it's just a little vest thing. Um, and it's made, what did I do? I did clusters. Yeah. Double, um, granny clusters in a V, I think. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, so I just kind of, that was kind of my, you know, try and relax thing. <clears throat> I did get something in the mail that I thought you guys might be interested in. I found a company, I uh, uh, don't even remember what the name of it is, and it's not on here. Anyways, it's a hat company that supplies things for making hats. <clears throat> that would make sense. <laughs> so anyways, I found some brims. And I got two sizes. Oh, I'm shedding. I got two sizes of brims. One for baseball cap and the others for like a... What do they call them? Newsboy hats. So, <coughs> excuse me. Come in a bundle. And... Whoop. So there just like plastic so those are the newsboy ones and they're flexi right so and then i got these ones that are more for baseball cap type you can see the difference in the size so i got like a whole bunch of these like a whole bunch because I my thought was like every craft fair I do the hats that have a brim seem to sell really fast uh, I have never made a brim hat I've purchased them and then resold them I know it's cheating right but when you need to get a whole bunch of stock together and you don't have the time, sometimes you have to fudge a little bit. So um, I got these brims in hopes that I can make my own brim hats. Problem is, is I can't make a brim for my life. I have tried. I made one newsboy hat once. Uh, I did an Englishman's cap once that never got used. Uh, and then I made the crystal bag o' day sun hats because like the actual brim part, I haven't found a pattern that I really liked and the instructions weren't 
totally clear and I just could not figure it out. So I thought if I got these, then I could crochet around it or like crochet two pieces together and, and whatever. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to figure it out. If you guys know, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. If you guys happen to know a good pattern for a brim that I could do, I could fit this brim into, uh, let me know in the comments down below because, um, yeah, I'm always in, in, you know, working to look for a good brim hat. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I think that's about all I've been doing. Um, oh, I did do the tutorial for the, uh, summer garden vest that you guys probably already saw. Um, I did finish that in what little time I had to spare and got it up. I hope it was a good, uh, it was a good video. Everybody seems to like it so far. If you do my, any tutorial I've got up, if you do them, please go to my Facebook page and put a picture of what you've made. I really want to see what you guys have done. Okay. Uh, it would inspire others as well because if they're doing this you know same tutorial and they're going well, I don't know what color to do or whatever they want inspiration right so leave drop drop your pictures in my Facebook page my link is down below uh, and yeah I think that would be cool I have been watching everybody's videos um, Darla, congratulations on getting a shout out from Crystal at Bag of Day. Holy. Uh, congratulations to Lisa for having Bag of Day in her video. I was like, what? Was that Lisa? Lisa. I think it was Lisa. Oh, I can't even remember anything now. I'm, I've just been watching videos and zoning. Um, but I have been watching. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. And, uh, I am doing a collab with Petra from Petra's Happy Place. She is way ahead of me. We started doing one tutorial. We couldn't figure it out. Started moving on to a different, uh, to, um, sorry, pattern, not tutorial pattern and then I was kind of glitching on that one too like the very first line I kind of went huh so I don't know if it's because I'm too tired or like I don't know what's going on but I I had a hard time figuring that one out too they're getting it started and then Reggie went on Petra's um live and showed her how to do the first tutorial and I was like okay so now Petra is like way ahead of me I haven't even started my tutorial or my pattern um so <laughs> I'm just like uh like I just yeah anyway okay I think that's it mm, I have some um yarn coming it's well it's not yarn it's sparkly stuff i had this idea that i i was gonna do i may still do it oh here we go good so sorry um i may still do it it's a shawl but like i've got the stuff coming i'm hoping it's gonna inspire me um, what else? I've got a few things coming, but they're taking a long time. So, <clears throat> yeah. And Sandy from Leftist Right Crochet, I sent her a package. It got lost in the mail. She finally got it. So go check out her channel and see what I got her or what I gave her. Um, she wasn't feeling very well. She was having a really hard time with her back. I am so living that dream right now. 
uh, <clears throat> so I just wanted her to feel better. So I was really hoping that my package did that. And, uh, oh, so anyway, uh, okay, I'm going to go. I have to start work soon. Uh, I don't think I'm going to work as late as I'm supposed to because I'm just, I'm dog tired, just dog tired. And I just, I need a break. I need a break. I'm not used to this anymore. You know, it's been since, uh, 2008 since I worked because <clears throat> my, my back just, I mean, I had surgery and everything and I just, I couldn't do it. I don't know what makes me think that I can do it now, <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm trying and yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to level this out a little bit. I'm, I'm the type of person that I go, 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 go. And then I crash and I go, 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 go. And I crash and I, it's a bad, hard way to go, but like, I, I just, I'm not, I'm an all or nothing kind of person. Oh, that reminds me. I just saw a bird flew, flew, a bird flew by. Yeah. I just saw a bird fly by the other day. Oh, and then there's, there's another story. Oh, oh, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> okay. My week started off by, I was door dashing. And, <laughs> uh, I cut about four hours into my shift. I get, uh, an order that I have to deliver. And I thought, okay, fine. Here we go. The order said, go down the gravel driveway to the house in the back and drop it at the door. Okay. There's two houses on this lot. So I parked my car up at the top by the first house and I walked down the gravel driveway to the back. Now the back house looked like it was being renovated or built. And, uh, I wasn't sure if that was the place I was supposed to go to. So I was like, oh, I'm looking around and I thought, well, that's what it says. So, okay. The door, front door was open. And so I went to the door and I knocked on the door and around the corner comes a guy buck ass naked. And if you get offended, like, I'm sorry, but this is what happened to me. I was offended. He came around the corner naked. He had an erection. He had his hand on his penis. And he was standing there staring at me. I damn near died. I jumped back and I put my head down and I says, oh my God, I am so sorry. And he says, that's okay. And then I was like, uh, <laughs> what do you want me to do with the food? <laughs> he says, just leave it at the door. I'm like, okay. So I dropped the bag and I took off and ran back to my car. Now I found out, I called my supervisor right away. I found out that they know, the customers know when we're three minutes away and when we've arrived, they can track where we are. They also know our name. So he knew a woman was coming to deliver his stuff. So this was not an accident. He obviously got his jollies off of this. So we called the police. Uh, our fear was that we didn't want a young driver to get caught up in that and possibly have something happen. So I called 911 and I said, you know, there's a possible sexual predator, uh, delivering food or, uh, ordering food. And the police called me and asked me what happened and everything. And, uh, they went and knocked on his door. 
I don't know what the outcome was, uh, but I don't like, I know the cop was going to look in to see if he was a sexual predator. I hadn't heard anything about it, but I wanted it on record to say, this is what happened and the police were involved. And so if anything happens in the future, they know. I was so messed up after that. I finished my, I quit my dash that day. And like, I just, I went, okay, I'm, I'm not dashing anymore tonight. And I went to the liquor store, grabbed something to drink, came home, walked in the door and George went, are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> I have alcohol. <laughs> that should tell you. <laughs> So I explained to him what happens. Now, sometimes George comes with me on my dashes. Thank God he didn't come with me at that point because he would have been out of that car and down there. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, so that happened. Yeah, so that was, that was my, the start of my week. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, sent a message to Sandy from Left is Right Crochet and I told her, or I says, um, Zoom chat. <laughs> so she, we got on Zoom and I told her what happened and she was laughing so hard. And she was just like, oh wow, only you. <laughs> like, ah! Oh, no. Oh, hold on. So yeah, so that, that was, <laughs> that was my, uh, the beginning of my week. And then a few days later, um, like, I went to go, I think I was coming out of the bedroom and right at our back, we've got a glass sliding door that goes out onto the deck in our back. I heard this fluttering like crazy and there's some chickadees hanging out at the door. I don't know why, but they were just kind of hanging out there. And then when I walked by, they all flew away and I thought, mm, that was weird. Like I've never seen them sit at our back door like that. I've got bird feeders in the front of the house. So it just seemed odd to me. And then a couple days ago, like this happened within a few, few days of each other. Uh, I was crocheting in my chair in the living room and I hear this bang, right? And this squawking and carrying on. And I'm like, what in the heck? So I come in, come down um, the hall and again at the door, there's some chickadees and they flew away. And then I'm hearing this bang, bang. And I'm like, what is in, in here? And in my yarn room, there's a chickadee flying around in my yarn room, trying to get out the glass window. And I was like, oh my God, you're going to hurt yourself. Right? So I'm trying to gently come near it to calm it down and it got caught in behind i've got some pictures uh on the railing um at my window got caught in behind there so i moved the pictures and grabbed the bird and took it outside and let it fly away and it was fine but i couldn't believe of all places in my yarn room was a chickadee why they came in the house I have no idea, but, um, that was a first for me. So I was looking up, um, uh, like what it means if a chickadee comes into your house and apparently it's good luck. It means good fortune. <laughs> I'm going, okay. So and then uh, there was another line that says it could also be a warning. I'm like a couple days too late. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're a little late to the party. So <laughs> yeah, so that happened too. <laughs> so, but anyways, I, uh, I just thought it was kind of interesting that, you know, like they've never come into the house before. So that was bizarre, but yeah. So that was my week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's going to be a little less eventful this week. 
Oh, yeah, always something, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. And uh, I hope you guys are having a good week, uh, staying safe and staying healthy. I think I am. <laughs> I, my brain's a little foggy, but I think I'm okay. Uh, and I love you all. And I will be back in a few days, hopefully, uh, with a few more brain cells. Okay. <laughs> I love you all. Bye. <laughs>